<laughs> As you read for the title, your girl is doing a beginner's beginner's makeup tutorial. Hi guys, my name is Upiro. I'm the owner of Ndobugazi Beauty. Yes! We do all things makeup, all things beauty. We sell beauty products. Everything that we're using here is available from Ndobugazi Beauty. Um, yeah, guys, enjoy the video. Yes! A link of their account and uh, their uh, Instagram at uh, down below in the description box. So, yeah, do not ask me anything uh, about what we did here, what we used, because I won't be able to help. Okay, <coughs> what are we starting with? Okay, we're starting with the brows because the brows are the hardest and they take the longest. And it's one of my brows, it's Abby, either thing. So, we're starting off with our brows. Okay. Um, we're grabbing our eyebrow pencil. Oh. Where's your eyebrow pencil? Yes, it's brow defined now. And your spoolie. I have that also. Yes. yes. By the way, guys, I have a brush set from Mundlavugazi Boot. Okay, uh, you can appreciate the this this holder. Yes, uh, yes. It's actually on a DIY that I made. I'll put a link of it up here. Yes. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. So. All brushes are available at Ndlofugazi Beauty. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our spoolie. Okay. Right, we're gonna brush our our hairs upwards so that we can find our our shape. Oh, okay. You're gonna clean your, your hairs now just to knit them up on top. Okay. Following the shape of your eyebrow, obviously. Okay, so grab your eyebrow definer. We're gonna outline your eyebrow. You wanna do this so that you can, in everything that you do, keep the shape of your original eyebrow. Underline your eyebrow, and then I'll tell you what to do on the top as well. Starting right at the beginning. And do it very lightly. Yeah, like, cause we don't want box eyebrows. No, no, no. We can't have that, guys. Not in this day and age, guys. No, guys. Stop doing it. Please yeah, tell them to not do it. Yeah, stop, guys. The first thing I look at when I look at a person is their eyebrows. I mean, like, I'm mean, disturbed for the rest of the show. Because, like, at the top of the eyebrow, we're not starting directly where our eyebrow starts because we're not trying to create those boxes. No boxes. No. So, we're going to go like there. Ah, Three okay. quarters. Okay, and then start from there and carry on. Follow the shape of your brow. Okay, next up we're gonna fill our eyebrows. So what we're doing is not drawing in the brow, but more filling in. So where you see like your hairs are going lighter, especially for me are here at the end. Okay. So you'll fill in more that side and then go lightly as you go to the front, front. of your eyebrow. Okay. okay. Okay, so we're gonna go back with our spoolie, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna blend everything in. Okay, start from your outline, outline so that you can blend it in as well, so you don't uh, have that that line under that line here. Yeah. Okay. Right, guys, LA girl, LA girl, <laughs> LA girl. I see that on the every one. video. Yes. So so we, I, it's easy to blend mm -hmm. i mean it's just beautiful it is beautiful and it cleans everything up perfectly so you're going underneath again For me, my eyebrow shape is that. So when I get to the bridge there, I go higher and then down again. You're going too far. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to go. This is where the octopus is. Yeah. That way. Okay. Sort of put your hands on. I shall make up at Mabasit. Oh gosh, I'm getting cut up, guys. Oh, 
How come you didn't go in front here on the top? Like you went. Oh, because we're still not trying to create that box. Oh, okay. okay. Be, everything here in the front should be light because we want it to be natural. We want your eyebrows to look as natural as possible. Okay. We need to take our angled brush and start blending in so that we can see how our brows are looking and if we need to work on them. Okay. So you're still going in the angle of you drawing it, but you picking on that your eye socket. Okay. I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh. You did that all on your own. Hey, babes. I have a good teacher. I have a great teacher. Lots. Okay, so the brows, guys, are bra wing. Oh my god. Please remember guys, yeah. brows are sisters, okay? Same man, same father, okay? Okay. But they're not twins, so they ain't gonna be perfect. They're not twins. And they're, they're not funny. Like, Got the foot to be my cousins. Good thing I see Oh, oh yeah. No, guys, no. Eyebrows are sisters. Now what we're doing is we're blending out all the harsh lines so we're blending into our eye socket because we're preparing that eye for eyeshadow and then we'll just blend out here on top as well. Okay. Just clean it up man. Oh okay. Mm. Why why do we stress to do eyeshadow first? It's because of the fallout guys. Okay. So when you when you're putting your eyeshadow obviously there's fallout of the eyeshadow and okay. it all yeah. sits underneath your eye. So if you've done your foundation, that's a waste of foundation because you have to wipe it off, obviously. Can't be looking red and or whatever. And we can't be wasted, you know? Mm -hmm. So we're starting with our eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you a trick that you can do for every single look that you want to do. Okay? Okay. So it, di it doesn't matter what colors you're using, but just stick to the formula, guys. Ooh, eyeshadow, come on. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, I'm using... Huda Beauty Eyeshadow. It's available at a level that's a beauty. Look at the pigmentation. Whoa. First of all, we're starting with a thick brush. Thick, thick, thick brush. I already picked up my color that I'm using anyway. Is it this one? Yes. Thick brush, thick brush. That's perfect. We're gonna go into our dark color. So whatever eyeshadow you I you trying to create any any colors that you want to use? Mm -hmm. We're gonna go into that dark one first. Okay. Okay. So for you, it's easier. And where you're placing it is right by your your crease. So there, where your eye just there. Perfect. Is it? You're gonna start here. It's in it. And then you're gonna blend it in that way. So by the time you get to the end of your eye, it's a thin line. Lightly. So what you're gonna do now is go into a transitioning color. Transitioning colors are light all the time, guys. You cannot have a dark transitioning color. Because you can't blend it with anything else, okay? Ah, okay. So for you, yeah, see, me see. Start with Teddy. Then you're gonna go on top of your where your eyeshadow starts. So like right on top of it, so not any higher, and start blending from there, going up. Makeup for you for as a business. As a business, I've been doing makeup since 2017. 
Wow. And, and how did it start? It's so crazy. I've done so many faces. Yeah, and girl. There was a girl from our church um, and she had she was going for a trip ball. So she's like, please, 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 can you do my makeup? Luya and Lugazi's uh, yes. Instagram. Yes, yeah, see, so you'll see her, her pictures there. So anyway, I'm like, but I don't do people's makeup. I only do my own makeup. I only do my face. And she's like, no, I'm sure you can. Please, I need you. So Aww. that's where it started and I did her face and I was addicted from there. Okay, so after we've blended our we're going back to the bay of the bays, we're going okay. back to our concealer. What we're gonna do now is cut our crease. So cutting the crease basically means you are clearing the lower part of your eye, so just be underneath your your proper eye crease. Uh, we're gonna go in with our concealer because we want that part to be bold. You're gonna put a nice bold and light color because you're trying to look awake. You can't just be looking dark and and looking tired, you know. So, are you worried? I am. You look worried. So you're gonna follow the pattern of your eye socket. Don't blink. Okay, next up we're going in with a thin brush. Come do your thing. Get that. Yes. Um, we're gonna go into a lighter, shimmery shade. Most yeah, most of the times we use shimmery shades because they are good in terms of popping and making your eye look super different. You know, look like it's been done. You're gonna place it where you put your concealer okay? okay so don't go up because you'll see go to there's a bit of a mess mm. you see there don't go there so just put it where it's supposed to be right there so don't mm. brush it on pack it okay. we're gonna go back to the brush that we started with it still has our color our initial color uh, yours was Uti's. Okay, so you're gonna go into the Uti's 40. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, not a lot. And then, then I'm to dust it off. We're going back to the edge here where we started and yeah. we're gonna place again. Oh! And we're gonna blend it on top of our shimmery color. See, I clean. And then take your brush that we use for the transitioning color. Yeah. Don't pick up any product and just blend everything out now. Just make it clean and seamless. Eyeshadow is so hard. Yeah, but I'm like brows because people think they've done brows right, even if they're not looking right. But anyway, we're not there. But eyeshadow. Shit! I need to put palm trees here, like palm trees. Yeah. People think it's just one color and you're gone. And I've taught you this trick. Light, dark, transition. You can do it with any colors that you want and it will look bow, bow, bow. Okay, next up we're doing our faces, guys. We're doing the foundation. Foundation and we are using Ramel. Guys, Ramel, wow. It's also available at Unclo Fugazi Beauty, guys. Yes. So get on over. The truth this. of foundation is that your your shade, your skin color changes all the time. So okay, I've got a whole lot of foundations because of that. So make sure that whenever you're using a foundation, you know what color you're looking like at that time. Um, it's very important. So before our foundation, okay, we need to prime. So you need to protect your skin from the foundation. On this and beautiful woman's month, mm. she's empowered me to beat. Guys, you need friends like these in your life, huh? Okay. I'm just saying. I'd show you the things of saying. life that upgrade you. Yeah, five more beauty. Guys, our beauty Frank is just here. Yes, guys. And it comes down. But it's the main thing you'll see here. Do not hate. Going on with our foundation blending brush, yes. guys. It even has like a hole in the center. Yeah. I'll show you yours because yours looks nice. But if you can see, I don't know it if you dips can see. In. It dips in. Yeah. yeah. And you can actually put your foundation in there and just blend it out there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. 
difference. Look at the difference here. Yes. The difference here. Yes. People are sleeping on the mall. Yo, Ramel. I. Okay, so what I did off camera was set my foundation. So Yolanda is going to do the same. Um, it's not an important step. But we just do it because we're not trying to look cakey and you know, okay. the foundation powder. Ready? So you just dab into it and then just go around with it. Yes, yes. I'm only professional. You're just doing it like a professional. Yes, honey. I've been watching all these YouTubers. <laughs> okay, next up, we are highlighting going back to the bay. Of the base. Guys, I got that in the Officialization mm -mm. every single Never month. ending. Never ending. So what we're doing now is we're going to highlight EU zone. Yes, it's in a U zone, it's in a T zone. So we are highlighting our U zone. <laughs> yeah, no U zone, not T zone. Like guys, it's your food. Yes. Um that's where the light shines the most on your face when you're taking pictures. Yeah. Oh, that's why so, they put tomato shla. Well, under eye, like that. And the bridge of your nose. Straight line. Slowly. Yeah, but I'm going to learn we learn about precision. Yes, yes. Sorry. Whomst are you? I'm the, the girl. girl. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, next up we are setting our concealer let's see if I get it because we're not trying to look cakey okay or trying to look like we did put concealer so we're just setting it and blending it and making sure it stays in place the whole day okay girl let's do it so you're gonna go into your setting powder banana banana, 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 banana powder it's loose powder okay and yeah. lightly dust it on you sort of like dusting it on and dusting it off at the same time because we're not baking we're not out here to do those kind of faces so um we're gonna go into our cheekbones obviously because it's already looking that way um just to bring back uh, yes yeah. can you see can you yes. see it's already leading you we trying to bring back the melanin in our face next week, so. and then I'm using the L'Oreal foundation also in the yeah in the shade Espresso as well yeah okay you're not going into your face I'm not trying to that's too far okay and then we're also gonna go onto the side I think you're contouring whatever you used. Um, just blend it upwards so that it uplifts your face. You understand? Oh, okay. Yeah. Not down. Not you're not down because you then dragging your whole features, everything of your face down. So you're just going upwards, even into your nose, making it sharper. Uh, upwards, even into your cheekbone. And make sure you blend guys take time and blend because we don't want to see all these harsh lines on your face showing every single step comment down below if you can see that my nose has transformed <laughs> if you can see the transformation yeah, that should be around it okay now we're going back to our eye yes we are not done we're going to um <laughs> we're gonna bring our our lower lash line to life as well so we're gonna put a bit of eyeshadow 
just to make our eye complete, you know, mm -hmm. not just cut off. So are we gonna use the shimmery color? No, no. <laughs> We're going to go in with the dark color. So would it be tease for me? Yeah. Mix two tees with the teddy. And not a lot. Mm -hmm. Going to go right into the lash line. Next up we're putting our eyeliner. You can put your eyeliner anywhere you want to, depending on what eye you want to achieve, what look you're trying to achieve. So mascara, mascara. Okay, next up we're highlighting. Um, I'm going to use the Essence Glow to Go. I'm going to use Huda Beauty yes, colors to highlight. Because you don't have to buy all these things that I if you've got a one-stop shopping. No, you don't have to. You're going to go in with Ucrave, I think. Oh! Guys, Ucrave, you know, guys. Yes. Ooh. So you're going to put it on your cheekbone as well, just above your uh, contour. That's mm -hmm. your contour now. Yeah. And you're just going to go yeah. there. Yeah. Yes. And also depending on the event that you're going to, you can go as much as possible or as light as possible. Like during the day, you don't have to put a lot of highlighter. But during the night, then, you know, when you're taking pictures. Yeah. It needs to be seen. Okay, go into your nose, bridge of your nose as well. We're doing everywhere where the light shines as well, so it's the same as the concealer. No, I don't like this torch bottom. Oh yeah, the torch. Go like Go down in here. Place it, don't draw. Don't draw. Yeah. And go up. That's now. Nah, that's fine. Okay, come in the middle here. That's all. You don't have to yeah, yeah. Can you see what you see up on that? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then lastly, you're gonna still highlight with the bridge of your eyebrows as well. There. Okay. So just light. Same brush. Same brush for you. <laughs> oh my gosh! You look so good. I can't get over us. Yes. Who are you? I'm the <laughs> girl. <laughs> wow. Okay, that just for warm. For your cheeks. You don't have to. You okay. don't have to. Smile. And then cheeks and go upwards. Yes. Next cheek. Can you see the warmth that added? <laughs> yeah. And the Hydrating. Yes. Feels so good. Don't get shocked. Oh, most of my leg is so bold. Yeah. So that's the whole point. It, it feels. It's your face. It feels so. Wait. Wait. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you another trick. With applying lipstick. Um. So. Can you see this lipstick? It's like more shimmery and shiny. Yeah. But I want it to be matte. But I mean. I'm not gonna go out here and go buy another lipstick that's matte. Yeah. So I'll take my powder, put my hand in it like that, and just dab onto it. And from there. Do a lot of things with what you have. With what you have. That lipstick looks so nice on you. And you does always it? like dark lipsticks. It does! You have one? I've never worn a light lipstick. This is my mm. first time wearing a light lipstick. The items that we used here today, you just need to follow the link down in the description box yeah, and Lovu Guys' Instagram account and she will hook you up. She sells makeup, she sells weaves. Uh, is that weave do? available in Lovu Guys? Yes, guys. Yes. Closure. Looking all natural. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Thank you for liking, for commenting, and for subscribing.